immerse yourself into the action of your movie soundtracks and bring your music to life with high-impact bass that you hear and feel. Yamaha introduces the NSSW series of powered subwoofers, reminiscent of a Yamaha grand piano. The gloss black finish adds a touch of elegance to any living space, with a range of subwoofers to fill the unique needs of users with different size rooms and setups. The series offers something for anyone looking to take their home entertainment experience to the next level. For accurate bass response, the NSSW SW series features advanced Yamaha Active Servo Technology 2. This proprietary technology dynamically compensates for the negative effects of speaker impedance to maintain excellent control and perfect linearity for superior sound quality. For clean sound, the Yamaha designed Twisted Flare Port diffuses the vortex of air generated around the edge of the port, creating a smooth flow of air. This reduces extraneous noise not present in the original input signal and provides clear and tight bass. Easily integrate your subwoofer into any home theater or stereo system using either the line level or low frequency effect input. For simple operation, the power and volume control are located on the front panel and the system control terminal can be linked to the receiver to automatically turn the power on and off. The crossover and phase controls located on the back panel allow you to fine tune the bass to blend the sound system into your system. The NSSW series combines beautiful styling, unmatched performance and ease of use, bringing passion and performance to any audio system. a closer look at the Sub 1000 and some of the other powered subwoofers from Dayton Audio. What makes this a powered subwoofer is the amplifier on the back. This amplifier can output up to 100 watts of power and has some really cool features. There's a phase control switch, which goes from normal to 180 degrees, a power switch with an auto on function when you wanna use your source to control the power, there's the gain knob, which controls your output level, and then the crossover knob, which says what frequencies are gonna play through the sub. And of course, there's your line in ports for both stereo and mono situations. Down below, we have high level inputs, but more interestingly, high level outputs that can run your speakers as well. This allows you to run full range audio through your sub to your speakers, regardless if your amp has a sub out or not. The Sub 1000 sports a 10 inch driver and is perfect for small home theaters or listening rooms. But for a smaller footprint, the Sub 800 features an eight inch driver in an even smaller enclosure. If you're looking for something bigger, go for the Sub 1200 with a 12 inch speaker. But if you want ultimate bass, we offer a sub 1500 that has a huge 15 inch speaker. With a subwoofer this size, you can get low end down to 23 Hertz. Lastly, the sub 1000 L reinvents the design of these powerful subwoofers for a more practical application. At only six inches deep, this subwoofer features the power and sound of the original Sub 1000 in a slim and unobtrusive design. All in all, this line of finished subwoofers will give you the power you need wherever you need it. And you can get them only. With reference premier speakers from Klipsch, seat-shaking, cinema-like sound is all yours. How? Let's start with some basics. A 5.1 setup is the most common home theater speaker configuration. 5.1 stands for five full-range speakers, plus a subwoofer to handle the low frequencies. The speakers are arranged in the room to put you in the middle of the action. As you watch a movie, the sounds move from speaker to speaker following any movement on the screen. Putting the right speakers in the right places is important. That's the key to a powerful, accurate home theater setup. Simply put, 
If a sound is supposed to occur beside or behind you, it doesn't sound realistic if it comes from the front. Same for dialogue. If it comes from behind you when you watch the screen, that just doesn't make sense. For optimal results, place the center speaker with the TV. Now you're localizing all of the critical movie dialogue to the screen, where it belongs. Then place the surround speakers to your sides or just behind you. Make sure that the left speakers are on your left and the right speakers are on your right, as viewed from your favorite spot. You can place a subwoofer almost anywhere in the room, but ideally, it should be placed in a corner or against a wall to maximize its output. Experiment with different locations to find the sound you prefer. Of course, there are more configurations beyond 5.1 that take the home cinema experience even further. Adding additional subwoofers, rear surrounds, or even Dolby Atmos-enabled speakers can bring new dimensions to your movie-watching enjoyment. From small, premium listening spaces to large media rooms, with over 1,000 system combinations, there's a reference premiere solution for any format. For big home theater sound that's as elegant as it is powerful, explore the entire